All right, today we're gonna set up Prusa Slicer for an AnyCubic printer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is download Prusa Slicer to my computer. So go to the Prusa Slicer website, click on the Drivers and Apps Package tab. So just scroll down until you get to the Prusa i3. And you're gonna click on the drivers and apps. This will download the Prusa software package to your computer. Then you're just gonna click on that link to open it up and run through the install process. Wanna select utilities. And then you want to also make sure that you have the Prusa 2.5.2 selected and you could do some of the test objects too. So that just gives you a few different models that you can use for test prints. And then make sure you also have the utilities selected. And you'll just install this. And it'll probably ask you to run the device driver Okay, and then once you get this downloaded, then you're just going to open up Prusa Slicer and import your files. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do for us, because we have an AnyCubic printer is you're going to configure the printer to fit the AnyCubic. Uh, this one I'm using the Mega X. So you're going to go to the other vendors tab. Uh, make sure that you have AnyCubic selected. And then the printer that's the most similar to the Mega X is the i3 Mega. It's a little bit smaller. So then we'll have to manually go in and adjust the parameters of the printer. So make sure you check the define a custom printer profile. because we're gonna design a profile just for the Mega X. We use the basic firmware and then here is where you're gonna change your bed shape and size. So for the Mega X, uh, the base is 300 by 300 millimeters. Okay, and then this is just filament nozzle diameter. Those can all stay the same. Uh, for PLA filament, I would up this to 215 and then your bed temperature to 60 degrees Celsius for the base profile. Okay, and for us, we're only gonna be using PLA on this printer, so we can unselect all of the filament types and just select um, Prusa PLA and then the generic PLA. You could also add in there for a profile. Okay, and then just hit next, kind of cycle through the basic settings. And so then you'll see the profile changes. So we'll select the Mega X settings for all of these. And then the last thing that you want to do is go into the printer setup and change the max height to 305 millimeters for the Mega X. And you see it saved the 300 by 300 that we set it at before. Okay, notice here our filament settings, the nozzle and the bed temperatures are 215 and 60 that we set it at for PLA. And then all these print settings you can pretty much keep at the, the base default level. 
Okay, so now we're going to insert our file. And to do that, go to your downloads folder. And we have the low poly Fox example. And then you're just going to click on that to open it. It'll insert it into the program. You can turn down the infill to save a little bit on plastic. Usually somewhere between 5 and 10% works really well. And then for this print, because the nose is a big overhang, we want to add support uh, for that everywhere. So then when we slice it, you can see the stuff in green here prints the support to kind of help keep that nose uh, profile on the fox from printing in midair. Okay, and then if we want to make copies, we can use the copy and paste function and then the auto arrange function is super nice for spacing that stuff out. Okay, if you want to change how something is oriented, you can use the place on face. Obviously for the fox here, we want to use the bottom, right? But for other files, you may want to use something, uh, a different orientation. Okay, so now we're going to slice this again, and then I'm going to show you how to export it. So what you're going to do here with the Mega X runs on an SDHC card. And so you're going to plug that SDHC card into the computer. And then you're going to export your G code to that card. So when you hit export, you're going to go down here and find the USB drive or the SDHC drive and make sure you select that so that the file saves there instead of to the computer. And then make sure you unseat that. And now in this case, if you wanted to print some smaller ones and fit more on a print plate, you can come over here to the scale factors and turn down the scale a little bit. Uh, and then you can make more copies and you can print more foxes uh, in the same amount of time that you could have printed the four big ones. And then the same process, you're going to export the G code after you slice it. And then make sure you select that USB or the SDHC drive. And then I just did Fox Small for this one and hit save. And then make sure you unseat it before you put it into the printer.